and we're gonna forage through our gardens and find the freshest, crispest, most delicious ingredients to add to this green themed cocktail. This is Mix It. It is cocktail time. Welcome on in. My name is Julia Carolee. This is gonna have a mixture of cucumber and grapes and basil and all things green, fresh and delicious. With a little bit of booze on the side. I just make the drinks. I don't know what to call them. Make sure in the comments below, you give me some suggestions of what you think this month's cocktail should be called. And a little shout out to Cameron last month calling our Valentine's Day cocktail, Rosemary Me. Clever, right? The first thing we have to do, gotta get that gin infusing. Now we're gonna use cucumbers for this one. Start infusing your gin about 12 hours before you're ready to serve. But if you just can't wait, it'll start to take on the taste of the cucumber pretty quickly. If you ever go to the spa and they have that big jug of water that's filled with sliced cucumbers and limes. I'm telling you, that was my inspiration for this drink. That and the beautiful garden, because that basil is irresistible. Close this on up. Give it a little shake and let it start doing its work and get nice and cucumbery. So our gin is nice and marinated, infused if you will. So we are gonna start with our shaker tin and we're gonna add grapes. Juicy, they're plump, they'll muddle really nicely. And I really want that burst of freshness from that grape to come on through. So I'm gonna use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, drop the guy. Eight. And then about three good sized basil leaves torn up, couple dashes of orange bitters, because every cocktail should have a bitter component to it. And then juice from about half of a lime. Grab our little juicer. Curl up the sleeves. Muddling grapes takes a little bit of time. It takes a little bit of elbow grease, but we're gonna do it. But these ones are so nice and plump and juicy. It's really not as hard as I thought it was. Everything is nicely muddled and mixed together. Now it's time for the good stuff. I left my jigger at home. So, being the professional that I am, I'm going to eyeball this for my measurements. Give it a nice little swirl. We're gonna do two and a half ounces of our cucumber infused gin. We're gonna count. One, two, three, four. That's gonna be about two ounces there. One, two. That should do it. Two and a half ounces. We'll check my work at the end. And then three quarters of an ounce of an elderflower liqueur to add that little bit of sweetness. It has like this warmth to it, uh, kind of like a honey tone and texture. Do three quarters of an ounce. I think I nailed it. We're gonna find out. Add some ice to our shaker. Okay. In our glass, we're gonna drizzle a little bit of honey. This looks so pretty and elegant. Gorgeous, right? And then we're gonna double strain, remember, because we got some bits and pieces from the grapes, from the basil, from the cucumber. So gonna give it a little double strain right over our glass. <gasps> I dare say, I still got it. I don't need no stinking jigger. <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and garnish this. We're gonna take that cucumber from earlier, cut off a little slice of it, give it a little notch, place that on the edge. Picked up some beautiful edible flowers. Which one shall we pick? We should, well, obviously pink, because I said pink, pink instead of pick. Let's grab one of these pink ones. Oh, a Snapdragon. Did you make him talk when you were a kid? Hi. Isn't that color perfect? That nice sort of green, fresh? But it's all about the taste, right? Oh yeah. The cucumber mixes so beautifully with that basil. It just gives you like this bright, fresh pop. The grape, because I used eight of them, really comes through and gives it that juiciness. This is spring in a glass. It tastes green. Happy spring and cheers. For this recipe and all the tools that you may need to be your own at-home bartender, just type in Mix It in the search bar on QVC.com. Like, share, and subscribe so you can come to my happy hour and don't miss an episode.